So in the last video, we created this API definition here and we had a little problem using it because after we had this click to create user, nothing told the list that it would need to be reloaded. So what we resolved to was to listen on this promise and on promise resolve manual, we call result refetch for the result of our use users query. The problematic thing about this is that on a small scale, this might work, but on a large scale, it will not. And it will also not work if you have different components throughout your application, all using those queries, because you just can't go and call refetch in a completely different component. So instead, we want to do this in a central location. And the central location for everything here is this API definition. So this is a, as a concept we uh, borrowed from uh, URQL or URQL, which means uh, they just invalidate everything in the state when a mutation changes something of a specific type. All queries, queries for that type will be invalidated. And this is what we do with our basic invalidation scheme. So we would say we have entity types in here. And right now we only have one entity type and this entity type is called user. And now we go through our endpoints and we say this user's endpoint provides us with user. And the same thing goes for our user endpoint. This as well provides us with user. And then we can go through all the other uh, mutation endpoints and mutations don't provide, mutations do invalidate. So instead of providing, this invalidates user. Same for update user and same for delete user. And now if we were to call uh, create user, and we have currently rendered any component that uses the user uh, query endpoint or the user's query endpoint, those queries will automatically be rerun and always up to date. So if we go over here and remove this then result refetch here, and then we reload our, uh, our application, and we click on create user. Then you can see that directly after this post request was sent, another request was sent, namely this get request to users that did refetch this list. And that is all there is to basic invalidation concepts on RTK query. In the next video, we are going to take a look at more granular uh, invalidation. See you then.